How to upload a HTML file to WordPress website. In this video, we're going to be talking on how you can upload an HTML file to your WordPress website in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, there's a lot of HTML files that need to be uploaded for verification processes to your WordPress. And I'm going to be giving you one of those examples by going over to the Google Search Console. Now, in Google Search Console, when you go over to the console tools, over here it says improve your performance on Google Search, etc., etc. Now, if you want to improve your performance, you're going to click on start now and you're going to choose the account that you've signed in with your WordPress. So I'm going to go with the uh, with that account. Now, once you go ahead with that account over here, it gives you two options. So it either gives you domain or URL prefix. Now, in our case, we're going to go with URL prefix because that is where the HTML verification comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and add my URL for my WordPress and click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it gives us this option where it says this is a verification method for your HTML file where you're going to upload an HTML file to your website. So it asks you to download the file and upload it to your WordPress. OK, and that is what we're going to be doing. It's going to be pretty straightforward. And uh, trust me, it's going to be really helpful as well. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. Now, once this is downloaded, what you can do from there is you're going to go over to your WordPress website. OK, so I'm going to come over to it. OK, and once we click on it, it's going to open it up over here. Now, once this website is opened up, what you're going to do from there is you're going to click on slash cPanel. OK, now you're probably wondering what this is going to do. Now, basically, WordPress website slash cPanel basically takes you into your WordPress website's control panel. OK, now the control panel, what that does is it goes through all of the HTML belongings that you have in your WordPress. OK, and it gives you the basic firewalls that you're in against as well. OK, so you're going to make sure to be logged in properly into your WordPress. OK, so for this, once you are logged in, you're going to come over to your plugins. And once you are into your plugins, obviously, the cPanel way is one of the ways, but not everyone has cPanel. So I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to come here where it says search in your plugins and we're going to go to Filester. Now, once you go to Filester here, it says File Manager Pro Filester, which is a widely used WordPress plugin. OK, it's used by many people because it allows you to upload any types of files into your WordPress code. And it, you know, in our case, we're going to be using it for HTML, but you could use this for anything like code editors, file managers. You could get it without FTP access and you don't need to upgrade it because this is already the pro version, which is totally free. OK, so that's the most incredible part about this. Now, once you have done all of that, what you're going to do from there is you are going to go into file managers main settings. OK, so once we have activated our file manager, what you can do from here is you're going to come up here where it gives you the file manager. And once you go into the file manager, it's going to bring you straight into file managers main section. So here we have WordPress file manager pro. All right. So once we are in our WordPress file manager pro, what you're going to want to do over here is you're going to go into your admin. OK, now going into your admin is extremely necessary because that allows you to, you know, get into the well knowings of your website and how your website, you know, basically works. So here you can see there's a lot of PHP files. All right. And among these PHP files, we're going to go ahead and add our HTML file because that obviously fulfills our process. So what you're going to do over here is here, it's going to tell you to upload files. So what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead to the upload file section. And once you go into the upload file section, you can easily go ahead and add any type of file that you please. OK, and basically the file that you want to add needs you need to make sure that it's in uh, either one of the admins or it's in either the whole folder over here. So once we're over here, you can easily go ahead and add any file into these sections over here. And you're obviously going to go ahead and make sure to save this personally for yourself. And you're also going to make sure to open it 
accordingly and properly. You can also download different sections in this files and to upload them, you're going to go over to this section over here. You know, this button you see over here, this is going to basically allow you to upload things. So what you are simply going to do is you're going to click on upload files. And once you click on upload files, it easily allows you to go ahead and add this to your WordPress. And once you've uploaded this TXT file for yourself, you should be pretty much good to go. Now, the reason it's not letting me upload it be is because uh, I don't have my domain verified. So until or unless you have your domain verified, you cannot go ahead and add this into your upload file section. But generally, this is basically how you are going to be adding an HTML file to your WordPress website in the easiest way. And once you've done that, you can manage its different individualities and settings through this section and verify yourself to your Google Search Console from here. But yeah, generally, that is how we are going to go ahead and add files into our WordPress using FileSers Pro Editor. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much about all there is when it comes to FileSer. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And if you want to ask further questions about the file file manager or how you're going to upload more local files into your WordPress in the easiest way, do let me know and I'll be explaining that to you in great depth and detail. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching all the way till the end, and I'll be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.